All right, so the wife has my airbrush booth taken up right now. She's painting her Zaveda German Maltier L4500R. Um, while I'm waiting on the booth to be open, I figured I'd do a quick kit review and post a build album for a recent project of mine. It is the 135th scale Ming M2A3 Bradley with busk. Uh, let's see. Of course, we've got our Tamiya M41 and a Diorama over here. Working on that. I'm working on the Trumpeter BMP3, but this is the focus of our build. I would give this an absolute 10 out of 10 any day of the week. This was a tremendous joy to build. Uh, Ming went truly out of the park on detail on this. Uh, as you can see, it's got full engine compartment. We have a full interior with the driver's seat. All the hatches work and open and close. Uh, commander's Commander and Gunner's spots on the turret have full detail. All their computers, their controls, their keyboards. Uh, same for the troop compartment. It's just a, an insane level of detail they've put on this thing. There's also an insane level of photo etch on these screens. We've gone out of focus here. Um, I think it was three sheets of photo etch if I recall. Everything is workable, everything moves. Suspension works on it, the tracks were very nice to build. They snapped right together, I had no issues with them. Um, as I said, I would give this kit an absolute 10 out of 10, it is perfect. There's our focus. Uh, I've got about three months into this thing. And if it weren't for the amount of time involved in building it, I would build 10 more just like it. The kit ran about $70 American. Um, I don't really feel that's too bad of a deal at all for what you get. Everything right, right down to the little tow hooks are movable and adjustable. I recommend it, uh, to, to say the least. It was absolute beautiful.